ugly. Five. 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 Who are the best and who are the worst NFL teams? It's Mike Gill's Fine Five and Ugly Five on 97.3 ESPN-FM, South Jersey's football station. All right, here we go, folks. Fine Five, Ugly Five. So the deal usually works is that we give our five best and five worst teams each and every week here on the Sports Bash on 97.3 ESPN. But today, I am putting a twist. I got to put a twist on five questions yesterday. I'm putting a twist on five other five today. Deshaun, Nick, and I have to agree Uh-oh. on these five teams. <laughs> we have to convince each other on a list. Okay. And we are not leaving this <laughs> octagon, I mean studio, <laughs> until we agree. Uh-oh. Going worst five first, that might be easier. Yeah. Okay, so number one ugliest team in the NFL is the Browns, right? Yeah, we all five, agree five, with that. Four, yes. Yeah. All right, so Browns are number one ugliest team in the NFL. Now we got to go to number two. I'm going to say the Colts. Wow, you stole the words right out of my mouth. I was going to say, you better put the Colts down there. Was I, I, the Colts are... God awful. I got the Giants. I got the Giants. Uh, the Giants are terrible. The Colts at least look competitive in their losses. Here's my issue with the Colts and the Giants, and which one's worse. I mean, they're, they're both great. The Giants would actually be on my next team. But the Colts, even with Andrew Luck, I think would be just as bad this year because there is, no, really? there is nothing on this team. They cannot protect him. He is hurt anyway. I guarantee you, if he had played this year, he would have played hurt. And then he would. Sit I agree with that. Yeah. So in my in my in my estimation, and I like Jacoby Brissett. I think he's filled in quite nicely for what he has around him. But if Luck was playing, there's no way they're they're they maybe a game or two better. The Giants allowed Nick Foles in his first start in almost a year to throw four touchdowns and look like the next coming of Joe Montana. It should be noted the Colts defense has allowed 13 more points this year than the Giants defense. My, my, I, I, my you know what? If you stands. both can agree that you got the Giants at least next, I'll concede the Colts. So the Colts are the second worst team in the NFL. All right, so the, so the Giants are third, the Colts are second. Okay, I'll concede to that. All right, so That's we got the crazy. Colts at number two, Giants at three. So where are we going to go for four? This is interesting. I can't say, I, I mean, Houston would be the next logical choice, but I can't say Houston because they still have some players on that team. And if they, obviously it's a big what if because if they had Deshaun Watson, they'd be a lot better, probably a playoff team. So I think I have to go with, oh, I have to go with Tampa Bay. I think Tampa Bay is the fourth worst team in the NFL. They're certainly the most disappointing. What do you think, Deshaun? The Tampa Bay... Four and ten on the year. Ha. You know, I have to go with Tampa Bay too. You kind of talked me into it. That they had so much anticipation for this season. Deshaun Jackson, he might get cut at the end of the year. I mean, just how the, that that thing's going over there. His career will be over in about two years. Really? I think so. He, I want to go that. Far. I, I, I if you look, look at Deshaun Jackson, look, I look at the Bucks as a whole. Jameis Winston has regressed yes. since his, he has yes. really. They need to fire that head coach. Yeah, yeah. Dirk, Dirk Cutter should have never been the head coach. Dirk Cutter. Oh, of course he shouldn't have been. The only reason why they made him the head coach because he's supposed to get a head coaching job somewhere else. They fired Lovey Smith to keep Dirk Cutter, and guess what? Jameis he, Winston has regressed. Yeah, you know what? I never understood why Lovey Smith was fired. I get he's. Me he, I, I love I, Lovey you, Smith. you know, I, I get he has been awful at Illinois, but who wants to play Illinois? play for Illinois football as Josh and I alluded to yesterday in college I mean that's the worst job in the Big Ten but you, but you look at Lovey, why they fire Lovey Smith there was no reason to fire him and then they bring in Dirk I'm telling you it's because they wanted to keep Dirk Cutter well and, they need to fire Dirk Cutter and that has not worked that well for him and you look at Mike, Mike Evans because Winston has regressed Mike Evans hasn't been able to help him out Deshaun Jackson's been a disappointment Doug Barton has been very well, inconsistent well I think that all ties into Jameis Winston I mean he hasn't been able he's been hurt he hasn't been able to get the ball to him and when you're back with Ryan Fitzpatrick there's only so much he can do yeah, so Tampa Bay to me is my fifth right, so, worst team. So here, here are the candidates for our fifth worst team. You ready? Yeah. You have the 49ers, the Bears, the Broncos, the Texans. What about the Cardinals? The, the Cardinals, Cardinals are kind of The Cardinals sad. have six wins. Yeah. I think the Cardinals are the Cardinals could finish seven, nine, eight, and eight this year. You know what? My, my, I got the Texans. I, I'm going to put the Texans. So all those other teams have quarterbacks. They have quarterbacks. Where you they know what? I, I can't. Den- Denver's my fifth worst team. I, really? Who, they just yeah. won. When you look at Chicago, they have Mitch. The Broncos Mitch, did just beat the Colts. And yeah, that I, with Brock Osweiler at quarterback, by the way. But the Colts are also that terrible. That bad. <laughs> you know, I look at the Bears. They have Mitch, Trub- Tr- Mitch Trubisky. They have Jordan Howard. They have some pieces, and that defense. They, I mean, they have some pieces. Whether John Fox can even get this job done next year, or he's going to get fired, who knows? But he's I think getting fired. But I think Chicago has some pieces in place. San Fran, I think, is a lot better than people give him credit for. Now with Jimmy Garoppolo as their quarterback, I love Jimmy G. 
I think he's going to be a fantastic quarterback. He's not going to be Tom Brady-like, but he learned from Tom Brady for a couple of years under Belichick, under Josh McDaniels. He's taking it now with Kyle Shanahan out in San Fran. That team's a borderline playoff team next year. All right, so we'll, so we'll take the 49ers out. We all I, agree I, on that. I can't so they're that. not ugly. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No. Houston and Houston. And I'll go back to what Houston. I, what I said for Houston, they're only bad because of the injuries to JJ Watt, Marcellus Mar- Mar- Whitney, and Deshaun Watson. To me, and you mean I, Whitney yeah. Merciless? Whitney Merciless. Well, did, did I say <laughs> his like, name backwards? Yeah, he said, yeah, you said his name Whitney. inverted. <laughs> you inverted right. his name. So there we go. That was impressive, actually. Without, I, without I, even thinking about it, I couldn't have done that if I tried. That was impressive. <laughs> I got the Texans. I mean, I agree with all that, but they don't have those guys, and the guy they have playing quarterback. He can't play quarterback. You know what? Yeah, I'd ra- I'd ra- you know what? I'd rather have Tom Savage or TJ Yates than Brock Osweiler, Paxton Lynch, or Trevor Simeon right now. Really? I would. Yes. I. I can't That's a stretch. That I can't go that far either. Are we at, are we at a two? Are we at a two versus one here with the with the Houston Texas? and Denver? All right. So to, to me, it's okay, so it's either Houston or Denver at this point. I, think I got Houston. But I to think, me, I can't go Denver because they just beat the Colts. I think. Yeah. I think if we have to go two versus one here, I'll concede and we'll put Houston at five. Yeah. There we go. Texans five. Texans five. I guess we have. To All right. Now. Texans are five. So we gain consensus. Now to the best teams in the NFL. Oh, here we go. Patriots. Should we go from five to one though? Make this a little more dramatic. Yeah. I think we should go five to well, one. No, no. Here's what I want to do. If we go one to five, I'm not. I'm not giving you New England. So I mean, you're gonna you're gonna have a while to, to, to shoot me on that. So we should say that for last. Let you know. Really? Yeah. You're you're. All right. That's why we gotta go number one. <laughs> you telling me that right now there's a team better than the New England Patriots? I still think Pittsburgh's better than them. I think Pittsburgh. I don't. Won that game last week. I don't. I don't. I don't care about that rule. Pittsburgh won that game to me. I think they're better than New England. Throw out the rule. I think Brady did you not look throw, like Brady you last fake game. Spike into the ground that was and a bad, throw in yes, the triple that was a bad decision. coverage. That was a bad decision. And I mean, they pilled the the the. the blah, 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 blah. Uh, you okay? I, I was going to call him I the Pillsbury Doughboy, the Ben Roethlisberger, right threw the ball in the triple coverage, and you're telling me. Him and the Steelers are better than Tom Brady and the Patriots. I think Philadelphia right now is still the best team. I know their defense has struggled, but 12-2 and two, tied for the best record. They, they had the best record in the league right now. Their only two slip-ups were Kansas City early, and then they had a game against the Seahawks on the road where it's bound to stop their momentum. I still believe that despite all their deficiencies, they're the best complete team in the NFL, and I think at the end of time, they both showed me a lot last week. He showed me that he can keep this train moving, Right now, they're still my number one team. My number one team is the Patriots. Uh, I, I can never go, but I, whatever you think of that rule, whatever happened in the game against the Steelers, it's over the Patriots. So won. you you don't believe that Tom Brady did not look like Tom Brady? That that defense clearly bothered him without Ryan Shazier. If you're going to pick a team to win in the playoffs and who uh, on a neutral field or even I mean, obviously England. you go with Belichick and Brady, but I, we're talking about Week 16 right now. Who's your number one team? I think just because the Patriots won, uh, the, the Patriots are my number one team. Okay, uh, Patriots are my okay. number one team. They 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 won, and you got to remember, say if the Steelers score on that on that play, there's what 30 seconds left. Listen, you, I'm you willing to say the Eagles are two and the Patriots are one. I'm willing to do that. No, I think it was less time than that because when they when I I remember when they scored that touchdown, I was like, this game's over. And they still have Brady, and Brady's the king of comeback. It was like 13 seconds. It was like 13 seconds. I could have sworn it was more, but uh, I, I, to me, you can't. The, the problem you was can't. is that you go for the stupid fake spike. Listen, for arguments for purpose, because we'll be here all day, I'll concede the Patriots because I will give Tom Brady and Bill Belichick that type of respect. But I want you to know that defense allowed a backbreaking play that it, it that just shouldn't happen with Juju Smith Schuster. That if any other circumstances. That would have been a loss. Here's my other issue with the Steelers, too. They no longer have Antonio Brown for the playoffs. And no Ryan Cheesy. And this makes me further towards the Patriots. They are the better team because they have the better quarterback. Yes. They, they have. Okay, they, so, pa- so real quick. Patriots won Eagles, too. Can we agree I, on that? I'll, I'll agree on that. I'll agree on that. Like I said, I will give the nod I'll to go with Eagles too, Brady yes. and Belichick because you have to give them that type of respect. But I'm telling you, there's some chinks in that armor. All right. here, I'm going to go a little off the board here. I say Vikings are three. I, I actually... Agree I don't that. agree. I, I think I've got the Rams. Agree. I think the Rams are better. I think the Rams are better. The Rams lost to the Vikings a couple of weeks ago. Yes, yes. The Steelers lost. I mean, the, the Patriots lost to the Chiefs. We're not putting the Chiefs in front. I think that the I think that right now, Sean McVay, after that big statement win in Seattle, I think the Los Angeles Rams are right there. I think they're better than Minnesota. I'm still not buying Case Keenum as a valuable playoff winning quarterback. I'm sorry, but not that I do with Jared Goff, but. Todd Gurley, Sean McVay, the way that defense is playing right now, 
in Seattle against Russell Wilson. But, here, but here's the here's the counter your argument, Sean. You also mentioned this off air to us uh, how great you think the Vikings defense is. The Vikings have the best defense in the league, yes. in my opinion. Yes. The Vikings what? have also had thirty less points Hold this on, year because that was a great point. What? Yeah. So you have the Vikings. They have the best team, uh, best defense, uh, best best defense in the NFL. Excuse me. Um, I want that defense come playoff time. Uh, Case Keenum, whether you believe in him or not, he has played well this year, yes. and it's been consistent. Not only has he played well, the, the, the Vikings are kind of similar to the Eagles, too. They have overcome injuries. They don't have Dalvin Cook. Dalvin Cook was the next coming of Zeke Elliott as, in terms of rookie running backs. Yep. I love Dalvin Cook. They don't have him. They have Latavius Murray, and they have Jared, Jared McKinnon. McKinnon. Yep. But they also have weapons on offense that I Adam think— Adam Thielen, Thielen, Stephon Adam Thielen, Diggs, Stephon Diggs good Kyle receivers. Rudolph. They, and Kyle, and to me, I think the Vikings offense— it's, I love it's the not, Vikings. It's, and it's, not as good, it's not as good as the Rams' offense, but to me, when you have that much better defense, better defense better, yeah. they have a much better defense than the Rams. The Rams so, I mean, Rams gave up 43 points, to, and I, I, the Eagles are great offense. Rams gave up 43 points to the Eagles. They did. At, in L.A. If I'm, if I'm going to pick between the Vikings and the Rams, the Vikings with their defense and the ability to control the clock with the run game, and Case Keenum, he doesn't turn the ball over. What? Again, you guys got me again. For argument's purposes, I will put the Vikings, but I'm telling you, after that statement, that was a statement that Los Angeles laid on Seattle. I'm telling you, this team believes. They believe. Well, my Rams are you don't do that to Russell Wilson. In, Listen, in, I'm willing to put Seattle. Rams at four. That was my next team anyway. Rams are my so next. like right. I said, yes, because I know that. I will concede. I will concede. And he, and listen, Nick's doing a great job because nobody talks me out of my thoughts. And Nick's doing a great job of that today. I do it all the time. <laughs> oh, you attempt to. You attempt to. Well, number, five, number five is going to be very interesting in my mind because I think we, if we can all come to a consensus that number four is the Rams, we have yeah, Patriots, yeah. Eagles, Vikings, Rams. I mean, right, let, me, it, let me throw the teams out there. Of so course. The contenders for five right now are the Steelers, the Jaguars. Ooh, this is good. And the Saints. Okay. Um, that's good. That's good. I got to go Jacksonville. Their defense is special. And Blake Bortles, he's starting to look good. He's starting to look good. I was considering Jacksonville just because their defense. I, I knew at a point their defense had to be great because of all the talent they needed. The right coach and Doug Marone's the right coach for that defense. Blake Bortles playing out of playing out of his mind right now. He finally looks like a franchise quarterback. But am I going to trust Blake Bortles over Drew Davian Brees? Clowney said he stinks. If I, am I going to trust Blake Bortles over Drew Brees? I have to get the nod to the Saints or the Steelers, and I'm still debating whether which team is better. I think right now. As long as Alvin Kamara is healthy and they can do the one-two punch with him and Mark Ingram, and you have Drew Brees there and Michael Thomas is playing out of his mind, and the Saints defense is much better than they were, I think I'm going to give the nod to the Saints over the Steelers and the Jaguars as my number five team. I, I like I like all that. I, I listen. Jalen Ramsey is a very intimidating person, and I ain't going against him right now. That defense is on another level. Listen, that defense is so good. I guarantee you, they had a conversation with Blake Bortles before the last couple games and said, listen, you ain't stopping this run. You're going to do your job, and you're going to get it done. And, Blake, and look, Blake Bortles is playing well. I'm telling you, that they are intimidating people. I'm see, not going against Jacksonville. See, this, this is where I'm going with Deshaun. Because the Jaguars went to Pittsburgh and beat them. Yes. And Blake Bortles found whatever it was that was ailing him and fixed it. Jalen Ramsey. Because he, he had a conversation with because this month, he is number one in quarterback rating, number one in touchdown interception ratio, yes. and number one in completion percentage in the month of December. I like hot teams going into the playoffs. He made a guy named Jalen, Jer whatever, Mickens. Mickens. Re relevant last week. Listen, I was explaining somebody last day at the gym. I didn't know who Keeling Cole was until three weeks ago. When Blake Bortles was throwing him the football. Okay, that's me. That's the sports geek didn't know who Keeling Cole was. I now know they went to Kentucky Wesleyan and set all kinds of records. He went where? Kentucky Wesleyan. I've never heard of it. I didn't know that school existed either until Keeling Cole that's, that's, started catching get, touchdowns that, that's from Blake Bortles. Blake Bortles. I, I'm not going against Jacksonville. Gotta, Listen, I got to give it to Jacksonville. I, I have to go Jackson though. I, Drew Brees, I think Drew defense Brees travels. Better. Drew Brees is the better quarterback, and I get he is. He is. And you he look, is the better I, I, quarterback. I know. I know. Even I've said. But defense. you've allowed two hundred and nine points this good year. Good quarterbacks look sorry. I'm telling you, you don't need to score points. So, so, so do you agree that that Jalen Ramsey is intimidating? I think Jalen Ramsey is is one of the best corners in the NFL right now. Is he intimidating? I, I think Calais Campbell's more intimidating. I think than. Jacksonville. Has I think he'll get defense. Michael Thomas out of his J game. Jacksonville's a better defense than New Orleans, but if you're gonna put it all together. 
and you look at what the Jaguars did last week on offense. I know they put up 45 points. It was against the Texans. The Texans have nothing right now. This is true. And I get the Saints beat. I get the Saints beat uh, the Jets last week, but and, and then they they had, they had a divisional game against Atlanta on the road on a Thursday night, and they lost by three in a bonehead play. Everybody has the one home bonehead play, but they've already run through their division. And if I'm going to pick a team to get hot down the stretch and go into the playoffs and be more confident in, I have to pick the Saints because they because have Drew Brees. Right, let me let me try to change your mind here. The Saints are only four and three on the road this year. They have three losses on the road, and they looked at, at totally different at Minnesota, team at, at Minnesota, who we already said is a better team. Yes, against New England. Sorry, New England. New England was at home, but New England was a better team. Atlanta. Yeah, that was, that they lost Atlanta team. on a yeah. Thursday night. They lost at LA, who we put ahead of the Saints anyway, and they lost that and lost on the road to Atlanta. So three of their four losses that we just mentioned here are to teams that we already said are better than the Saints. And the only loss was to the Falcons, a so, divisional opponent on the road on a Thursday night. So you think the Saints could beat the Jaguars? I think the Saints could beat the Jaguars, yes. I would pick Drew Brees, on, Drew Brees, Alvin Kamara, Michael Thomas, and my, Mark Ingram over Blake Bortles and Leonard Fournette and whoever else he has left. Because here's my thing. I think that that defense would negate that offense because that defense is that good. But I think that Blake Bortles and that cast of characters could score on the Saints. So if I, I, I'm looking at that like a 21-17 Jacksonville win. But I'm looking at a pass rush of Cameron Jordan on the side for the Saints and looking at Marshawn. Marshawn Lattimore. Jacksonville, they lead the league in sacks. I'm looking at that too, but I'm looking at the Saints defense versus the Jacksonville offense. I'm looking at Cameron Jordan to pressure and pressure break yeah. uh, Blake Bortles. Blake Bortles has not played in a big game where he is going to be counted on it to win a game. It also should be known the Jaguars lost in Arizona. And the Rams went to Jacksonville and beat them. There you go. Listen, I... Look, I I like the Saints this year, but what alarmed me about the Saints is when Kamara went out, that offense looked anemic against the Falcons. The Falcons. The Falcons are hot right now. Falcons are right in the midst of the playoffs. I yeah, but that I started their hot run when they beat the Saints. Here's of the course. other thing. You know the Falcons could win the division, right? Of course they win. If they the Falcons win out, they win the division. Yes. Yeah, so I, I I can't discredit the Saints for losing to the Falcons. Like I said, that's on the road. That's on a Thursday night. They lost by three. But there's a chance that you're a wild but card But Drew team. Brees threw a intercept. Like, he made that. Sure, that but what is, sure, what has Blake Bortles done until this month? No, no, no. no we're not. Listen, now, don't get it twisted. Drew Brees is better than Blake to Bortles. To me, this is, is about, this is about Jacksonville's defense. Yes. Of course. And I think that if you have a high elite level defense... I think Jacksonville. I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to deny Jacksonville's elite defense at the moment, but that's a very young defense as well. I think we're going to have to come to a tie, Josh. And, and Drew Brees, what does he do? Would you trust Drew Brees against a Jacksonville defense more than? All right, so let, me, let me throw a hypothetical okay. at you. Drew Brees is facing the Vikings defense and the Jacksonville defense. Who, if you're Drew Brees, who you'd rather face and pick apart? The Jacksonville defense. Ah. Uh... I, I don't know that that Jacksonville defense. Wait, they, run run that question by me again. Who would you rather face, the if, Vikings defense or the Jacksonville defense? If you are Drew if you are Drew Brees with, uh, with, with, with your off, with your offensive weapons, absolutely, a positively the Vikings. I'd rather face the Vikings. I'd rather face the Vikings. Here's why: defense is scary, man. AJ Bouye and Jalen, Jalen Ramsey are two of the best corners, and they're on the same team. Yes. And I think that the Vikings defense can be had. You know, you saw, for example, when they lost to the Lions, fourteen to seven. All it took was a couple undisciplined plays, and Matthew Stafford took well advantage of them. And I think Drew Brees is a better forget, quarterback but forget, but you're forgetting than Matt Josh, Stafford. That's still only 14 points. That and, is. and the Vikings' offense wasn't exactly clicking as they are now. And it, uh, is Drew Brees Well, that's Saints? the offense. You asked me about Drew Brees versus the Let me, I, just, me I understand that, but then if you put it back into the team game there, they, only, they lost 14-7. to seven. Drew Brees is not losing 14-7 to Jacksonville. Let me give you two last things. One, Cam Newton has been hot and cold all year, and he played very well against that Minnesota Vikings defense last week. I know there were kind of fluky plays and penalties and stuff like that, but but Cam Newton looked like he, he was ready to, what was that, two weeks ago? He, he was ready to beat them. My last thing on Jacksonville is that what they do best is pressure the quarterback and get sacks. Drew Brees, as we all know and we have all seen, is a different quarterback when he is under that type of pressure. We've seen the fumbles, we've seen the interceptions, he is his best when he has a clean pocket and his running game is working to take the pressure off of his offensive line. I think Jacksonville disrupts all of that. And here's the other thing to me, and that is the quarterback position is great until the quarterback is neutralized. I think Jacksonville can neutralize the quarterback. I think their defense is good enough that they can make the quarterback of less of an impact. Like if you're comparing the Saints to the Eagles or like certain situations like that, and you want to say, I'd rather have Drew Brees. I get that, but I think Jacksonville's defense 
is playing at such a level that you get them against teams, they are going to struggle. The last time I went against Jalen Ramsey, I criticized him. I started AJ Green on my fantasy team. You know how that turned out. I'm not going against last thing, Last thing I'll leave you here with, you, you mentioned Jacksonville can disrupt the quarterback. But is Blake Bortles, I mean, what happens if you disrupt Blake Bortles? And the, the Saints but you don't need Blake Bortles. You just need to run the ball. And they can run the ball. Then, then the Saints can run the ball, too. You, so you, can go, you can go either way on this. We can go back and forth all, all day on this. And I, I mean, right now, I think I'm going to concede to Jacksonville. But I still believe the Saints would beat them in a head-to-head -head matchup. We win? Do we win? Sure. I mean, we are running out of time here, so I think I will concede. That. <laughs> otherwise, otherwise, we're gonna be I, listen, we're, we'll be here for another up. hour. You're right. You're right. And listen, I we'll love another that. Hour. I love this. Was a good game, Josh. Good idea. Look at him, Smiley, beaming over there. Cheeks are red. I love it when a plan comes together. Sports Bash here on 97.3 ESPN. Also, the music bet is running out too.